Practicing film score is pretty tricky. Just before I met Hans and I was kind of considering this avenue, and I thought, well, no one's gonna give me a film to do, why should they? How do I practice it? How do I, how do I mimic this thing? I've thought about this quite a lot because I'm asked about it from time to time. And I reckon, I mean, here in Los Angeles, there's, there's a bunch of film composers trying to get started, but there are also a bunch of directors trying to get started. There are film schools here with people who are training to be directors. Now, they can't afford like Jerry Goldsmith type scores or Hans Zimmer type scores. They're gonna to need to use a student. They're gonna need, they're gonna need a, a score for pretty much free. In London, it was the same thing in about 1994 before I ever came over here. I went and put up a notice, I just wrote out a couple of things, literally on the notice board, at um, a school where you go to, to, to study to be a filmmaker, a director. Yeah, anybody needs some music for their short film or whatever it was, call me, Harry, give me a number. Um, and I did, I got, I got one. For instance, here in LA, we have UCLA, we have USC, all these places have film programs. Of course they do, we're in Hollywood. They've got to be people there who need a young composer just as much as a young composer needs them. And there's, there has to be some symbiosis there. And my understanding is that many film schools all over the world, there are people making short films on a nothing budget. They need music. They'll need music to put on there to show their little film off the best it can be so that they can graduate with honors. So I would imagine that would be a great way to go about things. However, um, you know, looking at the broad spectrum, so you've got a bit of talent, you've gone to school, learned about it, and you're ready to make a living, how do you make a living? Isn't there music coming out of every device, every orifice? There's music everywhere. I'd say don't aim so high that you think that someone's gonna consider you for the next Spielberg movie. And don't aim so low that you think you've gotta do some 10 second music blip for an app. However, there's gotta be music in between those two things. One thing I think I would have done had I not met Hans and, I, and made that transition into assisting and then I pushed the bat up myself. If I hadn't have done that, I think I would have found a couple of partners. I'd have gone into partnership, rented a little place um, and made a little scene for myself. It's quite a lonely task, this whole thing. And if you're struggling, I'd imagine it could easily put you off. Um, that was one of the things I liked, I loved about when I first started with Hans was the community aspect of it. Um, he has a very different setup now, but at the time, it was Hans and I was his composing assistant. He had a tech, a secretary, I don't know, a bookkeeper, a candlestick maker. He had about 10 people working for him, that's all. And it was nice, it was a community. And we all were sort of in it together. The aim was always to do as well as we could. If I wouldn't have assisted someone, I think I'd have had to have found a couple of like-minded people and shoved this together and said, okay, let's do this together. There's no, you know, collaborating is a wonderful way to go.